Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series of SQL interview questions, we are about to see another set of frequently asked interview questions. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us get started. And while I do so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do not miss to comment so that it can reach wider audience and help everyone who is planning to take interviews. So the first question is write a SQL query to get max salary for each department. Yes, it is a very basic question, but yes, very important. And it is asked multiple times in the interviews. So to do that, first, let us take our base table. So I'm considering our employee table as base. And for each department, I want maximum salary here. That is my requirement. Okay. So what we need we need two columns department number we need and max of salary for each okay because we are using an aggregate function we need to use group by function and group by how group by we need to do by department number so this is how now we got three records because we have three department and for each department it is giving us max salary okay now, next, again, one common question that is asked many times during the interview is, what is the difference between count star, count one, and count zero? Like many of us get confused between this. So let us see that also. Again, for this also, I'm considering our base table as select star from EMP table. Okay, And when I run this query, I'm getting 14 records if you observe here because we have the number of records that are available in that table are 14. Now, when I do the, that count of star, it will give me total number of records. Like for each record, it will count one. Like that, it will count and give me the total count of records, which is 14. Same likewise, if I give count one also, what it does, it repeats that one for the number of rows that are available and it will just count that and it, it will give me. So no matter what you write, whether you write one, zero or minus one, whatever it is, it will give us the same value, number of records that are available. But only when you are using a specific column, then in that cases it will change. How? Let us see that also. Select a star from EMP again. I'm writing the same table. Okay. So now if you observe here, I'm if you observe come this uh, commission column, we have some null in this, right? So one, two, so how many nulls are there? One, two, three, four, six. 7, 8, 9, 10 null values are there. Okay. Let us see what will be the value if we take on that. So count of a specific column I'm giving from EMP. So when it is doing that, it is giving us a re four records. So when doing that, it is excluding all those values which are having null. So sometimes it might differ whenever you are giving a specific column. Like in cases we want to find out a distinct count of departments. So let us see that also. So here I'm writing again, star here. So how many distinct departments we have? We have 10, 20 and 30, three departments we have. So let us see that also, so distinct uh first let us see count of the department number and we'll see what is the result okay and uh, from emp table so it is giving 14 so which means it is repeating so now if i give distinct in this case let us see the result distinct Maybe we need to give inside this. Now see the result, three records. So now it is trying to count distinct department numbers for 
employee table. So like this, we can use count star or one or zero. So do not get confused next time whenever you get this question. Okay. The next important question is find the list of employees whose salary is greater than average salary of the department. So there are two questions here. One, finding the average salary of the department and then finding the list of employees whose salary is greater than that. Okay. So we have to write two queries. So first query is select finding out this. So I'm writing a select statement, select average salary from employee table and I'm good grouping by department number here yeah. okay so so what will happen with this it will give us group by department if i do we are getting three records here observe here so for each department it is trying to find out what is the average salary okay next is now we have to compare all the salaries of employees and find out who has salary more than this so for that, I'm writing an outer query, select employee name and department number and salary from same table. I'm doing a self join where my salary is greater than this salary. And because I'm using this multiple tables, I'm using a group by and having statement simple. And if I run this, this is the list of employees who have got more than the average salary. Okay. So now next important question is write a query to display number of employees working in each department. Okay. Again, so let us write select star from EMP. So first thing is we need to see what is the data here. Now we need to find out list of employees for each department, right? So first we need department number. So I'm writing department number comma count of ename okay from employee table a group by what group by department number or whatever you want you can write it here you see in department 10 we got three employees in department 20 we got five in department 30 we got this so if at all you want to do it by job we can do it with respect to job also so here instead of department number we need to do it by job simply so if at all you want to find out number of employees working in for each job. So we have two employees working as analyst, four as clerk, three as manager, four as salesman, and one as president. So like this also we can write the query. Okay. So very important and yes, frequently asked question. Next is what are aggregate functions in SQL? Okay. Again, one basic question, but yes, very important. So aggregate functions like sum is there, sum of salary you want to find. Okay. So then uh, that is one aggregate function or minimum of salary you want to find or max of salary. So these are all called as aggregate functions in SQL. Okay. So whenever you are using an aggregate function, you definitely need to use group by. Okay. So like say select sum of salary, comma department number from employee table. So for each department, we are trying to find out what is the total salary here. So it is giving me error because I missed out group by here, group by department number. Simple. Okay. So for department 10, we have total salary as 8750 and department 20, 10, 10, uh, 875. And for department 30, we got 9400. Like that, we can find and do wonders using this group by and aggregate function okay so that's it from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful if you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you have a good day Bye bye